Hey there, French Nibs again. Out in the garage tonight, doing a little bit of goofing around. <clears throat> and I got a, uh, do a couple of shooting videos tonight probably, but first I wanted to do a mail call for you guys. Hopefully this one will be pretty quick, but I do have several packages to open up. Um, several different things, different stuff. I uh, got a repair coming in to do. I uh, got some upgrades for the, uh, for the Notos. <laughs> and uh, a couple new scopes, so. Let's, uh, let's dig in and not waste any time. Um, I have been using uh, this uh, EDC, 1791 EDC organizer, uh, tool organizer, and uh, I really like it a lot. <laughs> but uh, stores my Leatherman or Gordon tool or SOG tool really easy. Uh, I have my EDC 25 flashlight uh, in there and my well I've been switching on and off between my Camillus number no. four and my Buck 110 and my Gordon Leatherman Gordon multi-tool <laughs> first one we have coming in is coming in from uh, C88 Machining. Find him on uh, eBay, C88 Machining. He uh, has quite a bit of stuff on there for different air guns, but uh, most recently I think he's been pretty famous for <clears throat> his plenum extension and uh, barrel uh, adapters that he came up with for the, the Notos. I have those on mine already. And this is a new piece he's come up with for the Notos. And uh, this, let's get a hold, go ahead and get this out. So, really pretty cool. Let's see what he's got packed. Ooh, a bunch of stuff in here. Let's see what he's got. So we have a uh, carbon fiber tube for starters. So what this is, is an adapter uh, kit that will allow you to use a, an FX uh, barrel liner, which uh, the FX barrels are really well known for their precision and accuracy. So uh, in theory would help you out with being able to uh, shoot your notos a lot more accurately. Mine's already pretty accurate. so. Stand to see whether we gain gain a lot from doing this, but uh, it looks like he sent a barrel blank <laughs> along with it too. I I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting that I would need to go and buy one. I thought I'm pretty sure he doesn't when he sells the kit. I'm pretty sure he doesn't send it along with the blank. He said I would have to go buy one, but uh, it looks like he's included the barrel which is pretty cool. <laughs> Unless this is uh, not the barrel, I don't know what else this would be. <laughs> He's got it packed really well. All right, so this is just the... That is not the barrel, so I, I still have to get the barrel liner. So this is the uh, support tube for the barrel liner. <clears throat> so he has a couple different size kits. He has one that's 380 millimeters, which is the one that uh, I'm getting here. Uh, and then he has one that's actually 500 millimeters, which is quite a bit longer. The, the 380 is even actually longer than the original no-toast barrel by a couple of inches, but I think that'll be a nice little addition. So we have uh, some adapters for the front and back of the carbon fiber tube. Uh, what do we have in this other? Huh. 
fish. Oh, he sent the, uh, so he sent the uh, copy of his uh, plenum extension as well. That is really cool, the plenum extension with the, so, and, and uh, another plenum. So his early kit, his early plenum, which is what I have, uh, I put on my no-toes and I, I actually drilled and tapped it myself and uh, put a uh, regulator pressure gauge on there. So that is pretty cool. So he has included a new uh, plenum We'll have to see how we have to do to make that fit on here. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Appreciate that. Uh, the fellow's name is Chan. And uh, he sent this over to us to take a look at. So we'll be getting that. Uh, so I still have to, like I said, I still have to order an FX barrel liner. I wanted to make sure that I got the 380 and didn't switch something out before I went ahead and ordered one. So, but I will get that. Uh, get that on order and uh, we'll have that pretty soon and we'll do some more upgrades to the Notos. So the next one is actually a subscriber's gun that uh, he has sent in to uh, have me take a look at for him to get repaired. He sent me some pictures and it is, it looks like it's an older version but this is a Diana Model 23, I think he said it was. So that's kind of a, a smaller, kind of youth-sized uh, air rifle. But uh, let's see, we got some packing peanuts here. Let me. Suggested to him to <laughs> take the action out of the stock, but instead he took the took the barrel completely off the action, which is fine, I guess. That's one way to do it. Actually, made it, probably made it even shorter than would have if he just. But <clears throat> we got a little baggy tape to. The, bubble wrap here with the screws in it. You don't want to lose those. There's the screws. But I had asked him to, so, so this is a an older one, uh, made in Germany. I'm pretty sure. Looks like it probably was pre. Uh, pre the time, pre of the time that would have had a, a date code on it, but it is a Diana Model 23, made in Germany. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get the, uh... he said it wasn't shooting with much power, so it does need a breech seal, I see that already, but it probably needs a piston seal, which I'm pretty certain this one will be in a leather seal, so I'll have to do a little bit of research and see what we want to do as far as Getting replacement parts for it. All right, I'm gonna cut this off just for a second. I'm gonna put this thing together and uh, we'll see what we're doing here. Stand by. 
Alrighty, so I am back. I got this guy uh, put back together and uh, looks like it's not doing too bad. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a couple of shots with it. I did not bring out my downrange camera for, for this video, so we're just going to have to uh, <laughs> trust me. But uh, just want to just see how it is actually doing. I, I know it's going to need a rebuild, but uh, it's pushing the pellets out. So that's uh, not too bad. So everything is in working order. Probably just, just needs a reseal. It does need a breach seal. That may be all that's really wrong with it. I don't know. But if you guys watch my channel at all, you know I like these little these little youth guns. I got my got my Hanel, I got my Falk. Uh, let's see, I got a several Dianas up here. I think this is a Diana 24 right here. Uh, I've got a Winchester up here. One of these is a Winchester. This one's a uh, <coughs> BSA. But uh, there you go. That is uh, pretty darn cool. So we'll be uh, tearing into that and seeing what it needs as far as parts goes. So let's go ahead and get into the last box here. So this last one is <clears throat> a package coming over from a company called Orc Air, which I've seen uh, things from them like uh, PCP pumps and uh, PCP... Uh, bottles, uh, filling bottles, uh, storage air bottle, air storage bottles, but uh, <clears throat> this fella from Orc Air contacted me and said that uh, he'd like to send over some some scopes for me to look at, and I didn't even realize they had any of them, but I did watch a few videos of people doing reviews on them and seem pretty positive so uh, I said yeah let's uh, let's go ahead and send them on over we'll take a look at them and uh, we'll see uh, see how they are so he said he was gonna send two over here I only see one box so I wonder if he's sending two two separately so Maybe they're maybe they're coming in separate boxes. I don't know. So this he, he was sending a three by nine by forty, which is a real budget friendly one. And then this one is actually the more expensive one. But he did tell me he was going to send both of them. So I guess getting the more expensive one and not getting the other one maybe is uh, better for me. But <clears throat> I'll uh, I'll ask him what's what's up with that. Let's see how do I get into this box. There we go. So we only have one work here to look at, I think, for today. But this is a, a couple reviews I did see on this scope were very, very positive. Uh, this is a 5 to 25 by 56. Uh, scope and uh, so we got some instructions um, there's there's a picture of the radical that's in this one uh, pretty extensive so we've got a cleaning cloth and some tools and a uh, power adjuster throw knob it does come with a nice little sunshade these ones do not come with rings. That is one thing I did see right away that they do not come with any rings. So, and it is 34 millimeters. So, I, I do have some 34 millimeter rings out here in the garage already. So, we'll have to uh, dig some of those out and figure out what we're going to do. But, really, really nice. Pretty compact for a 5 to 25, uh, especially with the big bell it's got. It's, it's not super long and super, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, so let's 
at the 100 yards right now, nice and smooth. I'm looking just out the window over here at my neighbor's uh, mailbox. Looks pretty darn clear to me. And we're only on five. Coming up, coming up. So, and I'm looking through a mylar. <laughs> so it's kind of tough to make a judgment call there, but I can see my neighbor's mailbox, no problem there. Um, comes with covers. Does have a zero stop, so nice and clicky though. Very positive clicks. <clears throat> so, it, it's, there was no, that's one thing I've kind of noticed <laughs> with these more, uh, the higher the higher the dollar of scope, the less likely you are to get a actual battery with it. It seems like anyway. Uh, several of the other ones that I've gotten in did not come with a battery either. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be a really really nice scope. So we're going to have to get this mounted up on probably a 22 or something, get it out to the range and put it through its paces. But uh, I really appreciate the consideration and. Let me take a look at this uh, Orc Air. Looks like it's going to be a pretty nice scope. Well, there you go, a really cool mail call. Uh, some cool stuff for the Notos. A nice little repair coming in. And now a really, really, really nice scope. I'll put that back in there because I'm going to do a, a tabletop review for it first before we uh, mount it up and That is pretty awesome. Very nicely packed. Don't have to worry about that getting damaged. <laughs> anyway, there you go. Really cool mail call. I hope you guys liked the video. Until next time, have a great day. Mm -hmm.